guys who've been working in training camp and don't get as many reps really uh, you know, compete down the stretch. Yeah. Trent made a lot of plays. But uh, in the whole, you know, I think we expected to have some good moments and also that's why you play right now to have a chance to get the film and, and work and get better. Um, so it was, you know, it's good to play. How much does this allow you guys to kind of pick things apart now that you have uh, some game action on yeah, your belt? Yeah, exactly. I think there are some things that, you know, jump out. Um, you know, and it'll be good to watch the film and, you know, get a little more granular on what's happening. But, you know, we had carryover on some of the things we've been emphasizing. Uh, you know, just your habits and your instincts, I think. Those things, as I said, take some time, and uh, it's good for the guys to get a feel because it's, it's different. It's different in the game, so it was, it was good to play. The team, uh, okay. team, did a, team did a nice job getting to the free throw line. Does that tell you anything about their physicality and how you could play throughout the season? Yeah, I think you know one of the big emphasis. I've said this. You guys have heard me say it. Is you know is their spacing, and uh, that gives you a chance to. To, to drive the ball and to get in seams, and um, when we attack the basket and got the ball in the paint, um, good good things happen, and that just needs to be a continued emphasis for us. And, um, you know, we like shooting threes, but we like the rim more because the rim helps you get fouled. <laughs> and when we talk about defense, it seems like the team had a newfound energy in that area. They were, you know, on the floor. Sadiq in the first half, he got one saved and getting on the floor. Yeah. Um, does it seem like they bought into you? Does it seem different from where you left off last year when it comes to the defensive intensity on the floor? Yeah, the, there's. I, I think we were competing on the defensive end, and, and you saw that there were, you know, as anticipated, you, you could kind of anticipate where some of the the breakdowns would come, and um, you know that's the opportunity to watch film. But I, I did feel like we competed, and um, you know, like I said, we'll. We have a few games in a row right now, so it's just you know, similar to the regular season. We, we don't have time to practice as much, but we've got to figure out different ways to get better. Quinn, you did tell me uh, well, pre-game that you couldn't play 18 guys. You did get 16 out there. Uh, when it comes to the two that didn't play, though, DeAndre and Bogey, is there any particular reason those guys didn't hit the floor tonight? No, we're, we're, uh, they're going to be ready. You know, Thursday, we'll we'll have we'll, we'll rest some guys over the, the course of the you know the, the preseason, particularly when you have as many games as we have. And uh, you know, we we had our we shut a few guys down at halftime, and uh, it was good. Like I said, it was good to see, as you said, you know, some, some of the 16 guys get a chance to to get out there and compete. You always look for that some. In preseason to have them have a chance to do that tonight, and you know to make plays, to defend when it, when it counted. It was fun to see them, you know, just compete and, and get rewarded for it. Hey Quinn, I saw you uh, talking to Kobe out there, and also saw Wesley talking to him during a timeout. Just uh, what did you see from him out there, just in that first game? Uh, you know, I, I thought Kobe's got a really good feel for the game, and you know he can. I have a high bar for him because of that. You know, I, I think he's able to, to see plays. Um, as I said, he's, he's got a good feel. Um, you know, defensively, we're just going to, everybody, you know, we're, we're just we're trying to demand certain things of our guys. And, um, you know, Kobe's, Kobe's no different. I felt like he got to the rim, he made some good reads. And, you know, when he gets in the paint, if he has his eyes out, he's going to be able to find people. And that was one of the possessions we were talking about. We are also talking about the fact that he took a charge. Okay. Right. One more. One more? Yeah. Fine. Coach, as you just mentioned, some of the guys, you know, you rested at halftime. Uh, so we saw the starters pretty much get a, get a lot of minutes in the first half, some of the younger cats in the second half. What was the get today's game plan? Was it more offensive? Did you want to see – uh, how the guys came out with intensity defensively. What was your game plan for the first preseason game? Yeah, I mean, it, it's many of the things that, that I've mentioned previously. You know, I, I think um, on the defensive end, our transition defense needs to get better. You know, making um, 
making a quick recognition and you know, even more urgency in getting back. I thought um, they were getting to the rim uh, more than we want in transition, and that's when some of the threes come to when, when the ball gets deep. But um, we wanted to play together. I thought we did that. And um, you know, guys will, as we play and practice, get more reps, I think we'll become more instinctive on the offensive end and continue to find each other. But you know, I, I thought our heads, you know, our minds were in the right place. Thank you.